That's right. We're li- Speaking of feuds, you have this contentious debate with this uh, gentleman, Alex Jones. Yes. I saw this on your show. Um, tell people who he is. Well, Pierce Morgan is back in the news again, desperately trying to get attention. He's challenging Jeremy Clarkson of Top Gear to a fight for charity. Back when Piers Morgan and Buzz Bissinger were talking about how they'd like to invite Alex to a boxing match and then shoot him. Automatic weapon, much less a handgun. But what do you need a semi-automatic weapon for? The only reason I think you need it is Pierce challenge Alex Jones to a boxing match, show up with a semi-automatic that you got <laughs> legally, and pop him. I'd love to see that. <laughs> now, Jeremy Clarkson isn't taking Piers Morgan seriously. But Alex Jones is. He had this to say today. I got serious news to get to in your phone calls. But first off, I want to get into this. And I'm going to have the Nightly News do a piece on this because it is interesting. And then, and then they can get where Buzz Bissinger on the show said he wanted to kill me and that Piers Morgan should kill me. And Piers Morgan said, yes, I want to kill him. So at that point, just like I challenged him to a boxing match on the show before, I said, I challenge you and Buzz Bissinger, who likes to wear female's clothes, that's fine. He can dress as a woman. And we, both of them can actually, because that's about what they are. I'm not knocking women, but as men, they're not very manly. And they can both get in the ring against me, either bare knuckle or with gloves. We can do it in Vegas. I guarantee you pay-per-view, as big as that story was, it would get picked up. It would have millions that would pay on pay-per-view, and we could give the proceeds to charity. You notice they never took the challenge up, and I know he tweeted back at me and stuff about it, uh, you know, basically saying no thanks. You need to accept the challenge, coward. You're washed up. You're out of the United States. Everybody hates you. You're going to do a once-a-month magazine show for CNN, as I predicted they would give you, hiding their mistakes, you know, acting like you're not a total failure, taking a show from 2 million viewers to 300 and something thousand. You know, Morgan, I will literally beat the hell out of you and Buzz Bissinger. I tell you what, let's go further. I, Andy Kaufman would do this. I'll fight the, the ambassador's daughter who said she wants to kill me too on the show. Buzz Bissinger, so two women. I'll fight her, Buzz Bissinger, and you, Morgan. I'm serious. I will go in that ring and I will demolish all three of you within three rounds, I guarantee you, I will annihilate you within three rounds. Guaranteed, cowards. All three of you, I'm serious, in the ring, I will come in there and stomp the hell out of all of you, including your tart. Because she wants to talk about how she wants me dead and everything. Well, get in the ring with me, you wench. I will take all three of you on. First thing I'll do is punch her in the solar plexus, taking her out. Then I'll go over to Morgan, and I will absolutely start just battering his head with both gloves, and then I'm going to turn on Bissinger. All three of you, all three of you, come on. Quite a man being able to take on that little brunette. They don't call me McGarrett for nothing, folks. The point is, ladies and gentlemen, is that this guy's a coward. So, Everybody knows I challenged him to that. Well, now the host of Top Gear that looks just like him in the UK, this is probably a stage publicity stunt. He said, if he dies, he dies. Piers Drago Morgan challenges Jeremy Clarkson after he challenged him to a fight for charity in the ring. And so that's now in the news. It's a 50,000 pound to charity for Piers Morgan and Jeremy Clarkson boxing fight. You know, I think Clarkson will win. You can just look at the look in that guy's eyes and the size of his neck compared to Piers Morgan. Piers Morgan is a complete ninny. And unless the thing's staged, I think Morgan's going to get his head butt handed to him. So V12 Shots LTD, a company that recently launched a protein drink, the V12 Protein Shot, has offered to donate 50,000 pounds or about $80,000 to help for Heroes Charity in Piers Morgan and Jeremy Clarkson's Agree to fight, and they've now agreed to fight. Listen, $50 million is what a Piers Morgan, Alex Jones fight would raise. Seriously. That 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 was voted in, in, in LA Times, Time Magazine, you name it by voters, multiple times. The number one political story of 2013. Can you believe that? The number one viral media event, multiple places, thousands of newspapers, every show out there. Piers Morgan versus Alex Jones. 
I challenged him to a boxing match right then. Uh, $80,000, really? I guarantee you, I've got the connections. I know Dana White. I know Joe Rogan. I've hung out with Dana White repeatedly. I'll guarantee you I could make phone calls, and I guarantee you they, they're businessmen. I guarantee you they could get the Vegas match on, and it would be on television and pay-per-view and dominate. It would air on television the next day and be on channels all over the country. But, but no, Pierce Morgan will not allow his career to be destroyed because he knows I will go in that ring and I will beat the living hell out of him. Oh, man, I would love to get in there with him. Just, oh, 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 man, I would love it. So I know you're a coward, Morgan. You, the woman, and the other woman. I'll take on you and the two women. You and Buzz Bissinger and the other woman. That would add to it. Maybe we'd make 100 mil. Give it to charity. We could give it to Salvation Army. How's that sound? You probably don't like that. That's a Christian group. In fact, you, you know what? You're, you're a coward, but let me say this. They'll want to pay for it in Vegas. Let's say a third of it goes to the promoters, everybody, and then and then what's, what's left, 90% goes to charity. You can have the money. You and the cowards that get in the ring, you can have... You can have six, seven, eight percent, whatever it comes out to, to have, because you're not going to have a career anyways. You've already failed. So what? I'm going to beat you to, to pieces in the ring. So what? I'm going to totally dominate you. You're already washed up. Get in, I'm, folks. This is real. I'm serious. This is your last hurrah, Morgan. Don't be scared. Get in the ring with me. It, you know it's all talk. Some redneck Texan. I mean, you're going to punch me one time. I'm going to fall over in a fetal position, bud. You know that. You know this is all talk. You know I'm actually deep down scared of getting in the ring with you. So I think the answer is, Morgan, you need to get in the ring with me. Oh, man, I wish you'd get in the ring with me. Oh, man, I would just, I guarantee you. <laughs> First shot, man, I'd have him half knocked out. I'd get him up against the ropes and just undercut full power, breaking that jaw. Just full hate power. Just full hate. Blah. Excuse me. Anyways. All right. Now I'm now I'm I, I'm now kind of engaged in mental, you know what, on the air. And it is kind of like hatred porn. And I apologize, God, that I'm being like that. I shouldn't have moments of exquisite hatred for the coward, the filth, the enemy red coat who we've defeated. I just have such a just a quite frankly, an unholy lust to defeat the enemy that I shouldn't be like that, and I apologize and repent. But I still will get in the ring with him. We're going to send this video to Piers Morgan. We're going to do a special report tonight on this, showing him saying he wants to kill me. Look, you want to kill me? There's your chance, buddy. Get in the ring with me. Get in the ring. Get in the ring. Get in the ring, coward. You and Buzz Bissinger. I was joking about the woman. Fighting one man and one woman's enough. And I want to say this right here. You think you're a tough guy? L have me back with a boxing ring in here, and I'll wear red, white, and blue, and you can wear your Jolly Roger. The globalists have controlled the mainstream media for a long time, but now they're expanding, making the weaponization even more vicious and deceptive. All the major networks are state-run. We are partnering this year with the NFL. The NFL has become a political weapon against the Second Amendment and pushes Obamacare. MSNBC tells us that our children belong to the state. We have to break through our kind of private idea that kids belong to their parents or kids belong to their families and recognize that kids belong to whole communities. The brainwashing media machine has been turned up on high and it's time for humanity to double down on the true people's media and strike back against the tyrants that are destroying our civilization with their lies and fraud we are the resistance you are the resistance you are the info war it is more important than ever to realize that we are not the alternative media we are the true media the establishment dinosaur press is dying we are in an information war and we are losing that war join us at infowarsnews.com and present planet
Membership.tv. Members can share their memberships with up to 11 people. By subscribing, you will literally be buying war bonds in the info war to expand our operation in the face of the tyrants. Join us at PrisonPlanet.tv. My friends, we have done it. With Dr. Group's help, we have developed the ultimate male vitality supplement with eight concentrated super herbs. This is the answer to the globalist war on male vitality with the estrogen mimickers they've added to the food and the water supply. And now our test pilot, our Chuck Yeager, Dr. Edward Group is here to test his greatest invention. Doctor? Thank you, Alex. I will now take two droppers to test this ultimate male vitality formula. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a momentous moment. Thank you, Dr. Group. I will activate my muscles by doing push-ups. Ladies and gentlemen, this is it. This is the move. This is unprecedented. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to see what happens right now. Oh, my God! What the hell? Wait, 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 wait. Get out of here. Shut this down. This is not safe. This is not Hold on. Settle down. Get, get another doctor. Something's wrong. Something's wrong with him. Help him. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we did not intend for that to happen. I take it personally. Do not have those problems. Um, uh, again, these are these are authorized herbs, well known to be safe. Uh, and and uh, please, uh, doctor, doctor, wait a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, we're just going to cut, cut to commercial for just a moment. Cut, cut, cut. Get everybody out of here. Super male vitality. It's awesome. Just not this awesome. Oh my God, what the hell? Ladies and gentlemen, the dramatization you've just seen is just that. It is satire to illustrate in a satirical way the incredible power of super male vitality. It will not turn you into Conan the Barbarian, but it will help block some of the estrogen mimickers and reportedly let your glands produce the natural hormones your body needs. It also does have some other side effects in the human testing that we discovered, ladies and gentlemen. I'm about to illustrate right now what that is. Let's see if I can do it again. It, it takes some focus. Up, up, and away! Start your journey to super male vitality today at InfoWarsLife.com.